it is shade time and times are never created for me using Stampin' Up! products. Hello, my name is Kathy Haynes and to come join me on this creative journey as we create this adorable black ice technique um, vintage vintage bird Christmas bird <laughs> card. So I'll have a name for it by the time I post it. So, <laughs> But basically we're going to be using the Happy Holly Days stamp bundle. And that is this stamp set and this adorable punch. And this punch is great in that there's different ways you can use it. Now I punched out the holly and added the birds here or the leaves here. But you can also punch. So let me just show you this. And I was thinking about this because I always try to think out of the box. But this would be great for Halloween also. So black holly. So you've got some black holly here for Halloween, but I did it with gold. And then you also get this border that you could just keep going down and make a lovely border and put some designer series papers. So maybe I'll do something with that um, by October. So let's go ahead and get started on this card. All right, so we're using the black ice technique. And what I did I wanted to show you another stamp, Stamparatus technique is that sometimes our paper, our design is not going to fit on, let me get one, is not going to fit this way, that, that holly would go over. So what I do, I always mark on my projects with different colors where to put them. So the film I just made or the video I just made, I used these two and that was to do a second generation stamp. So for this one, I put it on here and then I lined up my holly and my bird where I wanted them, pushed down, picked up, and now I can make them over and over and over again. You know, you do have to put your magnets down. I'm not going to do it for the sake of time here, but I put my two magnets down, ink that up with Versamark, set it down, do it looks good and then I heat emboss with black emboss um, embossing powder okay and that's how I got that and the reason being when I used memento let me see if I can find one where I used memento it didn't quite stay so it faded away the bird was so light you couldn't really see it and you know you can use alcohol ink markers on memento but you can't use alcohol markers on stays on because stays on even though it stays on it's alcohol based and alcohol markers are the only markers that are going to work on foil so I had a quandary of a problem so I was in quite a quandary is that what I have to say see how it just erased the eye so I knew stays on would it work memento was too light so my last choice was to black emboss with Versamark. I'm going to tell you, you have to be a little bit patient because you cannot overheat or it melts because the foil is a little bit, it, it's a conductor of heat. So it melts it more than you thought it would. So you kind of got to be careful, but basically that's how I did it. I'm going to take this off now and put this away and we'll get going. All right. So I have one that I already Emboss, let me find it. Where are you? Oh, it looks like I may have to emboss. I don't find it. Here it is. So this one is already embossed. Okay, I, I added an extra one, but I've done what I told you. I embossed it. Now I can go in, and like you saw when I was trying to color the last one, it absolutely was not going to work. Now I have no fear. Okay, the alcohol marker will stay on the foil and it will become permanent okay now before you do this sorry i lied to you because it's very important to do this next step first you're going to take your paper and your stays on so now we are going to use stays on be sure to take the plastic cap off and you're simply going to run it down your page like this okay and I would do this before I started coloring. And you do want to kind of, you know, have a lot of black on there. So turn it over. 
and go from the other edge and you want straight lines so you're putting a little bit of pressure on this okay all right so there i'm getting the vintage look i was looking for now we can go back and finish coloring i was just worried that the coloring might get smeared by the stays on because the stays on is alcohol based so color after you put the line the black lines on my new one that other one's about 15 years old so okay. go ahead and start coloring my now those of you who color feel free to blend and put light spots I don't have a lot of coloring capabilities and which is why I chose to do this technique with this bird rather than try to make the beautiful birds I've seen other people create using this new bundle out of the mini catalog. This one I have extra berries on, but there you go. I don't want it too dark. I want it just, just right. All right. Now I'm going to do the next step. I'm going to make sure this is kind of dry. So kind of heat it, give that time to heat. So I'm going to set it aside for one second and we're going to stamp the Noel. Find my piece. All right. Where did you go? Oh, I'm looking for that. There it is. Okay, because while I have the stays on out, I just want to stamp my Noel. So I have my other piece. I cut this out with the rectangle stitch dies. And then I'm going to take my Noel stamp out of my set. And I'm just going to hand stamp this one. Okay, I always ink this way where I can see everything. Make sure I've got it. And again, I'm using the stays on because it will stay on the metal non-porous paper. Unless you try to ink it with alcohol-based markers. That's why we do the light the black emboss on the main part of the card. Okay, now I've got my Noel. All right, I'll put that aside. Yeah, this is probably dry. So now let's put away the stays on. How many of you have 20 years and I still forget to take that plastic off when I go to start dabbing. Okay, now you're going to take your Versamark. Okay. And this is a little bit trickier because you don't want too much. You don't want the whole thing solid um, clear emboss. If you could see the waves on this the little lines, it kind of looks icy. That's a, what we're going for. So I'm gonna take this and lightly pull it all the way down. And I'm only gonna go one direction this time. Move it over, go down. Move it over, go down. And even if you miss a spot, it's okay. It's better too little than too much. All right. Now I'm gonna take a piece of paper. This is my grandson one of my many grandsons and I'm going to pour the white emboss all over it. This is, I'm sorry, it's not white, it's clear. Clear emboss all over it. I'll shake down. Tap off the back. See, you get those lines. I'm going to tap it off really good, put it aside. I'm going to put this away. Alrighty, just stuck my finger in it. Now cover your first mark before you heat emboss so you don't. And then. I like to hold it in one spot until I see it start to melt, like it's melting right there. And then I follow the melt, so I'm sure I get everything. So I'm following you now, making sure I get every place. And that's how I do all embossing. So, 
my bird. Isn't that adorable? Do you see the the icy line showing up? I don't know if it shows on camera as well. Perfect. Okay, then I just kind of go back over it lightly to make sure because there's a few areas I didn't get, which won't matter because, like I said, you do not want to sell it. So, oh my gosh, I just think this is adorable. What do you think of that? Can you see it in the sunlight? So it just looks like it's just, I love it. So now comes that the hard part is done. Now you can choose. I left mine just plain on this one, but when we get to that, um, let me find my black. Okay. So I have my face, and then I'm put glue on the back of this. I'm gonna put this right here. And I like you, don't put that there. I'm gonna put this one. It's been so long since I know videos, guys. I think I need to brush up, start making an agenda that I can follow because I get I get kind of lost sometimes. But here we go. Now I use the stamping up the super seal on this one because the gold like this foils like to kind of bend a little bit. Okay. And there I've layered it onto the black, and the black has barely an eighth of an inch, and that's what I like about it. That's why the directions will be below. And now I'm going to use, you see I already put some glue on here, but that's okay. I want to use six dimensionals on the back of this and I'm not taking the covers off yet. And then two in the middle, because it's a slim line, you just want it to, you, know, you can put more. Some people really like to put a lot of, um, dimensionals on it. So let me find my ribbon. And this is, it's a Stampin' Up! I'm not sure it's still here, but it was the um, solid ribbon one eighth yard that was in the mini catalog, I believe, last year. And I just want to take that and wrap it around a couple of times. Or you could use the sheer ribbon, you know, that you have. You know, and I use that on a couple of these. It's a little bit bigger and I kind of liked it. Let me show you. So, you know, you decide what ribbon, but Stampin' Up! has a great variety. So. And I am just going to tie this in a knot this time, just for the sake of it takes me forever to tie a bow. Well, let's see. Let's see what it feels like when I start. Okay, let's try the bow. And if not, we'll do a knot. Okay, so we're just going to tie a knot for this one, but you could definitely tie a bow. It just gives it, you know, a texture effect. Put that over. So basically, also, I'm going between the, the dots. So now I can take all the dots off, all the dimensional covers. And then I'm going to center it right here. Alrighty. Now I'm going to take my Noel and I'm going to put three dimensionals. Is that like the third dimension? Can you use three dimensionals? I don't know. Okay. You know, you never hear of, of crafting with wine because could you imagine? Can't do it sober. There we go. And put that there. And like I said, if you wanted to, I like the contrast of the vintage and the 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 sharpness. But it's up to you if you want to do this technique. You know, just part of it on here that would work too. And then I've already pre-punched a bunch of, and I separated my little dots and the little leaves kind of as I did them so that they were easier to get to. But I simply took some Tombow and added 
some gold leaves to it. So I took quite a few and just put the the Tombow on because it, it ha you have time to work with this Tombow. Upside down. And I put the Tombow, Tombow towards the pointy edge. And a couple more. And then we get a couple of little ones. All right, let's see if we have enough. And I just kind of put them where I wanted them. And then over the edge too. Now for certainly here, because you want his feet to kind of be covered up. So, and over the edge a little bit works. little one right here okay and then let's do another one up here just to make it even and on the Noel put one here and a big one and a little one at the top let's see how that works Well, let's just put one up there and two down here. So you decide, you know, you do it. Now, the only other thing we have left are the little dots on the outside of the card anyway. So what I did for these little berries is I'm going to put dots of Tombow glue where I think I want berries. One, two, three, I'll put one down here. And one here, and one here, a couple here, there. Now picking them up would be a pain, and so I'm going to use my take a pick tool, which I absolutely love, and I want them to be the white side up. Okay, so put it down there. over okay, let's go here. Okay. lost that one All right. the ideal thing would be if you had two pick of tools which I do but the other ones in the other room and you could use the pointy one to pick it off instead of your finger. Come on. Pop it over. Okay. Kind of push them where you really want them. It's too dry. Couple more. One right there. Okay, so I think that's plenty. I'm gonna push them down with the other side. And then we're gonna let that dry a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna put this aside and we're just gonna put the inside in. And my inside I've already created, but I wanna tell you that I created it the same way I created the silver part, by putting it in sideways and then having a red, but I used two tabs, two plates. So I had a red plate that had this and then I had the black plate that had that and then I simply color the berries and we're done but then I decided let's put this aside you guys put them up higher that I wanted to frame so I took my gold stamping up marker lay it on paper and kind of lean it this way and just go straight whoops don't do that go straight across and you'll get an edge so on this one whoop, can't find it but 
I have a gold edge. Of course, I can't find it. I thought she's used this one since I went wrong. Now, I'm going to use a thicker. Okay, so go. Go slower. And you can put a gold edge. Okay. But I'm not going to finish for time. But you can do that or you can layer it. And this will go on the inside of my card. And go ahead and change that real quick. my berries go back out here and now I want to color up these berries and they're a little bit drier now so then I just take my red and color the white so remember I put them white side up because I wanted to be able to color them and have them pop so what do you think all right, last step, folks. I'm taking a white gel pen and I'm giving him a white spot in his eye to liven him up. And then what I call commas on my berries. So a dot and then a comma. Okay, and this one has berries over here. And then the same thing inside. All right, so what do you think? Do you like this vintage look? Holly, happy holidays bird card. I think it's unique. I think your the recipients will be thrilled to have it. So I hope you enjoyed this technique. Again, it's called the black ice technique. I can think of a million different ways to use it. Um, it's just fun so I hope you enjoyed it everything will be listed in the description below the, the dimensions the product um, be sure to hop over to my site journeytime.stampingup.net and, and take a look around um, I would love you to leave a comment tell me what you thought Feel free to hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified each time I upload a new vid video and a like would really help me. So thank you again and you have a great day.